machines. He thinks he can, oh, well, he hears the sound coming out of it. He thinks he can put a human voice on something similar. So he'll instruct the machinist to create this model you see here. This is an exact, exact replica of the original phonograph by Thomas Edison. The patent went out December 1877. It's pretty simple. All you have is a cylinder wrapped in tin foil. You have two diaphragms, one on each side. You have a sharp needle on one end, a dull needle on the other. What you would do is you take a horn, you attach it to the diaphragm with a sharp nail, and you speak into it. The words, first words by Thomas Edison? Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, exactly. Not very epic by any means, but um, when he was asked why he said it, or chose those words, he, he really didn't think it was going to work, and it was the only thing he could think of at the time. So he speaks into the horn, Mary had a little lamb, and vibrations from his voice travel through the horn into that diaphragm, and into that sharp needle. And as he cranks it along, the needle will actually make indentations into the tin foil. So all you had to do was take that horn, put it on the other end with the dull needle, so it's not making new indentations. You crank it back, and out comes the word, first words of Thomas Edison, Mary had a little lamp. Um, great invention by Thomas Edison. His, it's actually going to be his favorite. Um, what's wrong with tin foil, though? It's not permanent. Right, it's going to rip, it's going to deteriorate, not very productive. He's going to move on to what's known as wax cylinders, which is the tan cylinder inside the corner of the case here, uh, next to the, all the other cases. Um, what's wrong with wax, though? Melt. It's going to melt, it's going to deteriorate. Wax uh, cylinders, you can actually shave off the previous recording and record something new, so that was kind of <coughs> cool. Again, it's going to melt, it's going to deteriorate, it's not very productive. He's going to move on to what's known as black amberol cylinder and then blue amberol cylinder. Well, what is amberol? Well, in layman's terms, it predates plastic. It's a very, very hard, non-scratchable material. Uh, technically, it's called celluloid. Uh, a blue amberol cylinder can hold about four minutes of audio on it. And as you guys can see, when you get a chance, take a look and you're going to see a lot of grooves here, uh, very fine line grooves. I'm actually going to play one for you. Now, Thomas Edison <coughs> invented the phonograph, originally had the idea of it being kind of a dictating machine, you know, the business pro leaving a message to his secretary, or possibly uh, leaving a message for your grandchildren. It's when he found out you could put music on it, that's where the money came from. So we're going to crank this one up a little bit. going here. Now, this is actually my favorite song here. Actually, hold on. This is my favorite song here on the property. Uh, you're going to find out why in just a second.